I'm Caitlin. Everybody knows me as KB. I've been really trying to master the art of being alone and just enjoying my own company. I've been feeling really overwhelmed, stuck, and I guess just in a serious need of a reset. I decided it was time to take my first solo trip and we're going to New York. So I hope you guys enjoy and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I think the names are Kyle and maybe Jennifer. My friend and I were crying because we don't get girls. Tell me on our way back because we can see the road. Is it really dangerous if we make it home? 10 p.m. curfew, but we take a The coffee is A1, and this croissant, I got an almond croissant and a um, caramel latte. It's really good. It's my first coffee shop in New York, so I don't have much to compare it to, but compared to New York, it's already, did I say Florida or New York? Compared to Florida. Compared to the coffee shops in Florida, it's already 10 times cuter than any coffee shop I've been to. It sucks that it's my first one, Cause I don't want to rate it so high just because it is my first one but honestly it's it deserves the high rating so I'll give it the coffee I'll give it a 10 good quality coffee been rushing and rushing and rushing all day but i am about to head out to the met gala um, every time i say the met i want to say the met gala so i'm basically going to the met gala basically rounded today i've just been running around and i haven't really been able to record anything be here for about four days three days three nights four days somewhere around there. i wanted to kind of bring you guys along for the uh, the rest of the trip so today is my second day in new york city i kind of just want to explore the city today i don't necessarily have a set agenda but i know i want to visit a few areas um i want to go to the soho area i definitely want to see the friends apartment but i also want to go to the brooklyn area not too sure how i'm going to accomplish all that in one day but i'm gonna try <laughs> It's not obvious, my friends, they all caught it saying I end up falling for you I'm doing my best to hide these feelings Confessing is the last thing that I want to do I know I can't be crushing on a girl who can't be here for long So I told myself I should just stay away But these lyrics keep coming out I don't think I can stop it now I wonder if they'll get to you one day but I'll sing these words I'll never say Cause that's the only way for me To say those words, just wait and see They'll come for sure to shine To look you in your eyes I swear that I'm not lying Cause I knew it's true from the first 
first time we met I'm so in love with Everything you say and all the doodles that you post And every time you sing a song the people crowd a little closer to you I wish we were closer But I know I should be moving on Cause you won't be here for very long And there's no way I could ever make you stay But at least I'll write this song for you Cause I don't know what else I can do And I'm hoping that for you it's okay If I sing these words I'll never say Cause that's the only way for me To say those words just wait the cover show to shine to look you in your eyes. I swear that I'm not lying, cause I knew it's true from the first time we met. I'm so in love with time flies way too fast. So I am in Washington Square Park, and it's just so nice. It's such a vibe. I feel like a lot of people always say there's not much to do in New York City besides eat and drink. You don't really have to do much to enjoy the city. Like everybody here is just, everybody's just a vibe, honestly. I feel like you don't have to like constantly turn up or constantly have the itinerary to really enjoy New York. The people here are just so different. And obviously they have the traditional root New Yorkers, but I feel like so many people are coming to New York to pursue something. And I feel like you could feel it. The air is different here. I don't know how to explain it. The atmosphere is very different. And everybody here is just a vibe. You know, everybody's just chilling. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. And it's just kind of nice to see all different types of people in one central location. Um, just come, just walk around, just try the different foods. People complain about, you know, only having food and drinks, but I feel like that tells you so much about a culture and uh, their history and, you know, what they're about. That's, that's the fun part for me. Um, it's my first like official solo trip. I don't know, it's been very... Obviously I love my uh, my group trips. I love going places with my friends, but I don't know, solo, solo travel is very eye-opening, I guess, because you have so much time to think and just people watch and explore. Um, I was a little scared at first, but I, don't know, I really like it. It depends where you go to. I think New York is a place where you don't, again, you don't have to do much. Went to the Strand, which is the like a very popular bookstore here, um, and it was really cool. It was very trendy, and it was very easy to navigate, which was pretty cool. Sometimes I get overwhelmed in bookstores or don't really know where to look, but they have it organized very nicely. They have like the most popular area, they have the OGs or the classic area, so it was very easy for people who don't really aren't really familiar with bookstores. Um, I do think it was a little overpriced, but that's just because it's New York City. So I'll probably just order the rest of the books I want off of Amazon. Really wanted to get this book so I could read it at the park. And then I got this tote bag.
Updates RSN. And give it up for your host. Give it up for Mr. Robin Andre. Come on. You guys feeling good out there? How many people are ready to party tonight?